Hey Cynical Militia, Professor Cynical back again with another No Man's Sky video. Now in today's video, we are going to be having a look at the Golden Vector. Oh, I've wanted to get my hands on one of these for a long little while now, and I'm happy to say I managed to get one. How do you get one, you may be asking yourself. Now, in order to get yourself a Golden Vector, all you need to do is complete the expeditions, and then you'll be able to go and get one. Where do you get one from? Well, I will show you that in today's video as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick personal look of the Golden Vector, what it looks like, and what it has to offer you in No Man's Sky. So, let's get into today's video. Some say it's a timeless masterpiece, whilst others say it's an instant classic. But what makes this different than any other vector than just fancy gold work? Well, this is what I'm setting out to find out today. Now, looking at the exterior, you cannot deny its sheer beauty, its sheer dominance in any room. If Donald Trump could afford such a luxurious starship, I'm sure that he would also want one as well. Now, going into the refinement, all the details the glistening of the lights coming off the bodywork makes this a very exquisite piece. However, it's not all just gold. You do have a black decan of metal going all across the rest of the ship. So it's all blended in nicely together. At the back, you've got your three thruster configuration. That's very typical of vectors. Also, we look at the bird's eye view of the ship. You can see we have a beautiful honeycomb pattern there at the front which is a really really nice design but my favorite part of this ship by far are these golden cook rings which to me just look absolutely amazing now the level of detail is undeniably 100 percent up there with some of the best ships you can currently get in no man's sky however what do you get in the box when you first get one of these ships now looking at this you would be very very well surprised you get a phase beam a pulse engine launch thrusters you also get a golden starship trail out the box but most importantly you get very premium s-class upgrades for your pulse engine as well so straight out the box you are instantly ready to go the ship obviously comes with a full tank of fuel which is really nice to see. Now, I do only have one bad thing so far to say about this ship. Now, the bad thing itself is with the phase beam. As you can see, it doesn't match the color of, for example, the trail that's coming behind your ship. I would have thought that they would have put the phase beam color itself, made a unique version of a golden phase beam to match with the aesthetics of the ship to show the true premium design and to really own in that feel that you have a luxury item on your hands. Now, another thing that's not included is your photon cannon. And the photon cannon is obviously blue, which I suppose can match the back end of your ship just a little bit. There is some blue in there. However, again, I would have really liked to see these weapons all be gold when you fire them outwards. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna see now how this handles. We've talked a lot about what the ship looks like, the aesthetics, the design, but how does it handle? Now, quick and nimble is what I'm gonna say to you. If you want this in a dogfight, in a good scenario where you need to swerve in and out of the mountainside, you need to go in and out the clouds. This is truly a very light, very nimble, very agile machine. Now, if you want to really up your game in No Man's Sky and make a statement doing it, then this is definitely the ship you want to be getting yourself next if you don't already have one of these beauties. We can even do a 180 cloud surf maneuver here and look at that absolutely seamless as we go through all the clouds all of the areas we're literally upside down now and it's just handling all of this like an absolute dream absolutely amazing and obviously you can take this at any planet it doesn't matter it comes with the full works of protection no matter what kind of planet you are on no matter if it's toxic no matter if it's completely dead it's even got room 
for the wife and kids in the back as well. Chuck them in there and take your family on a nice holiday. Now, if we switch to the actual cockpit view here, you can truly see how completely standard it is on the inside. This was disappointing when I had a look. Now, to me, I would have really liked the exterior to match the interior because it doesn't match anything else on the ship. Unfortunately, it's just your standardized, renderized model of the ship inside. But don't let that dissuade you from getting one of these ships. Yeah, it's red. Yeah, it's not the best beauty queen at the ball, but I'll tell you what, she'll still turn a few heads or two. So whilst we go ahead in space here, let's call in the anomaly and jump through. I'm going to show you exactly where to get one of these wonderful vectors for yourself. So the first thing you want to do is once you're in the anomaly and you want to see if you are eligible to get a golden vector, go over to the Quicksilver Companion and go to option two, which is collect expedition rewards. Now, for you, it will say available, but for me, it will say previously collected because I've already got one of these golden vectors. If you're eligible for one, it will be there. If you're not, you need to go back and do the missions in the expeditions in order to obtain one of these wonderful ships. Now, I have my plans for what I'm going to do with my golden vector. If I can get 200 likes on this video, then I will do a video on the Golden Vector where I turn it into a God Tier Golden Vector. How insane would that be? Now, for those who don't know, a God Tier ship is essentially a living ship component in a normal mechanical ship, but because this is a Golden Vector, it's already a special ship. So I'll be adding into that and it will just be absolutely crazy. So if you want to see that video, hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed to our new round here. And click on that notification bell for when that video does drop on the channel. Anyway, guys, that's everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical. And I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now. Every single one of you for watching today's video. Now, do me a favor. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. If you are new around here, subscribe to the channel. I release videos like this all the time. If you're feeling extra generous today, you can go ahead and head over to my Patreon page. Link in the video description. Anything that gets contributed to the channel, guys, goes back into the channel. It's a massive help. So if you do decide to go down that route today, I want to say a massive thank you. Also, if you have some extra time today, don't forget, check out some more videos. I'll have some popped up here on the right-hand side for your viewing pleasure.